episode of Tweets with me, of course, I want to journey. Coming straight to you from your number one online TV channel, I like TV. I hope you had a beautiful week because I did. And how are your episodes been going? Because mine has been. It's been good, but you know, it's been really, really rough. But still, thank God, all the same. We'll be right back with the headlines. Stay tuned. And now to the headlines. The Nigerian Students Union CIU finally releases their date for their long awaited elections. And the CEO of Offhand Magazine finally responds to the comments and allegations concerning the Annan Awards nominee category and also talks about the voting and sheds more light on the big surprise and the concert itself and of course the award. Also, the CEO of Shed more light on his cousin's award. Also, there's a big surprise too. And to our gossips, Annan Awards and Cousin's Awards create social media drama amongst the celebrities, the nominees, the people voting, the students in Cyprus. Serious drama. <laughs> Anyways, to our event lineup, we have Akara Suanyu Swag. We have the Creole Talent Show and the biggest of the best, the Annan Awards and Annan Concert featuring Inyaya Cypress Shutdown Season 2. Yes, Season 2. We'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now, to Nigerian Students Union in CIU have finally fixed the date for the election, which is going to be holding on 16th of December 2014. And they're just two candidates guys. So you guys should go vote and voters are strictly for registered CIU students So registered CIU students, please start voting. Campaigns are going on so please start voting The CEO of Offhand Magazine, Jibri Arugudadi, finally gives answers in a press conference concerning the Annan Awards nomination category Why T-Bone is nominated in the first place and some other information and stuff we need to know about the Annan Awards and the concert. Here's a little glimpse of the press conference. We'll be right back. Said, um, they are more than their nomination or something like that. I don't know how because sometimes I don't actually follow these things on the internet. I don't know what they say and what they're saying. But actually I have a meeting with them I think two days ago and they were in my house talking about their music video project and the rest of them. And I confronted them and asked them, I said, what do you mean by you're not promising? And they said, they don't understand the word promising. I said, do you don't understand the word promising and you post online? You should understand what is promising. Promising does not mean that you are upcoming. These are two different English words. I don't know if anybody has this dictionary to see promising. Promising means that you have a future. There's something big coming. Now, Let's be sincere with ourselves. Every artist that is in Cyprus at the moment are all promising. When you talk about in the, the Nigerian market, sense, in the yes, in the whole sense, in the total sense, we are all promising. But in the long run, you understand, this is Anan, and Anan is for all Nigerians in Cyprus. Though there must be a category for artist of the year. There must be somebody to say this person is the artist of the year this year. And there will be also other categories for promising artists, meaning that in the next year, this guy might become the artist of the year next year. So everybody on the promising are people that Cyprus is looking up to. Um, let's be realistic here. Often entertainment is not just a company that is into artist management alone. We have a lot of things we do. We shoot music videos, we organize award events, we do other things. We promote other artists, we promote our own artists. So our artist at the moment is an artist 
that started his contract, signed his contract and agreement in Cyprus. He's an artist that is recognized here in Cyprus. Everything he has done music-wise today is in Cyprus. Is he not worthy to be called an artist in Cyprus? He's an artist. So, whatever he's doing, people see. And people nominate him. Because at the moment, even the deaf will hear the voice of Tibo on the island. It's certain. So, we are not actually putting Tibo on top of any other person. Every artist on the island are doing well. And if he's also doing well on his own quarter, people should nominate him and we should give him the the benefit to contest. But let me be sincere and let me be straightforward with you guys. For those that are very close to me, that knows me one on one, I am a very strict person. I don't take zero for one or one for zero. I'm very strict. This might be confidential, but it's good for press people to enjoy. Sometimes we need to give you some confidential information so that you guys can be able to you know, talk about it. The truth is, we had a meeting with our artist and we told him, and if you see his publicity so far as our artist, we will never see that Orphan Entertainment has already shared anything on the promotion of him being nominated for anything or vote for anything. If you guys are taking notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't do anything. Even his promotion package that he's doing at the moment is being sponsored and courty of Team T-Bone. He has friends. He has people, you know? And those people are his friends and people that love him and definitely they will vote for him. So at, at the moment, he's the only artist in Cyprus at the moment that has shot two music videos in this one year we're talking about. So people will nominate him. And we cannot hold him back not to be nominated. The only thing is that we are not going to influence and we will never influence any category that he is on. If he doesn't win any of the category by vote, my dear, then he's not going to win it. It's as simple as that. You understand? And that's why he's working his, you know, he's working very hard to make sure that he's being voted for and he's campaigning very well. About it. And he's doing it with, on his own at the moment because we are involved. If we are involved with somebody else doing an award, the company will definitely be the one handling it, but we handle this promotion and everything. But at the moment, it's a bit complicated, like, like um, Mr. Caleb said, and we try to make it as easy and as clear as possible, as simple. Okay, Mr. Jibu, um, on that aspect now, okay, what if it now happens to be that it tends to now win the award? What do you think people might actually say? There's nothing people will say. Any award that Tibbles win, he will deserve it. And people know that people are working on the island. He's an artist that is working, and as far as he's working, people are seeing his work. People will vote for him because they know that he's working. Let's leave all these things we do. Nigerians, it's time for us to come to reality. If you are doing well, Kevin Tita, for instance, is an example he's sitting here with me was nominated for Artist of the Year and Best New Art. Yes, sir. He might not actually tell anybody go and vote for me for Best New Art. You understand? But people just feel, people watch what you do. The comedian at the moment is hot. Buffy and Omoba are on. I, 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 I'm telling you guys that at the moment, Anna Award 2014 is awesome. For no reason, for the category of Best Comedian of the Year is awesome. You understand? Because these guys, their category is actually causing a lot of media yeah. crush on the internet and it's really making the award more popular and that's what the essence of nominating people is about when you're on the category you should be able to promote it you understand these guys are really doing a big job and i must commend buffy and um, the, the two of them they are already winners to me and whoever wins will be to god their categories alone at the moment is over a thousand votes at the moment only their category from the report we are getting from the database you understand so that's to show you how heavy it is so if you put omoba and buffy and you now put um what's it called our, our uh, nigerian god talent uh, yes, kiss stands for instance let's be sincere with that kiss stands is hot but it's, it's it's promising sincerely so you might not be able to give kiss stands an opportunity to express himself to that peak he wants to be so creating a promising comedian category actually created that medium for those ones coming up to actually see a platform to stand and then beat from it. So that was what we did. So we didn't want to throw them because we would have put everybody would be on the same category, you understand? But we, we knew we knew the future, we knew there's what it would happen. Yeah, there's still no chances for them. And we really want to give a lot of people a chance to actually take something on. Okay. Like so are these promising uh, everybody that appeared in the promising categories, yes. were they voted for? Everybody that appeared in the oh. promising are all nominated okay. for that same category okay but, but we are, they are just being they deduced from that yes category. yes because we knew that they might be on that category but they don't actually have 
that strength yes. to actually stay at the top of the category. So we created a sub category for them to make them compete them with their own friends and uh, with their mates and be able to actually have somebody winning from their, their mates. That's what we did. The thing there is, as we got the venue, the venue, the location for this, for Ibiaya concert, yes, okay, Olamide came and you know, Olamide and the style of music, it's actually kind of circulating and within a particular set of like, let me just say Nigerians basically. Okay. But in Yaya, like in my, in CIU, Lefkosia, to say, there are some white girls that are actually even interested in coming. So okay. seeing Yaya like, has been a, a concert that will be universal yeah. for everybody to come. Do you think that location, seeing what happened at Alami, they do think that location will actually be able to take everybody or you have like a provision for extra any other place. I like I mean maybe I don't know, you understand but you understand the question. Understand. Let me be yeah. sincere with you. Uh, <coughs> we the organizers of this event, we pray that the place will not be enough. Because everybody that, that works will always pray that you should make it. You, when you invest, you pray that you make your money back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. We pray that it should be enough. Instead, that we pray that it should be you know, massive and and sincerely, as of today, if today's date is five, as of today, from what we have had, from what we have sold, from what we have seen happening, there is no how a and issue and is going to be compared to each other. Yaya is going to be the, it's going to be the, the biggest. It's going to be second, but it's going to be the biggest. Sincerely, so we talk to the owner of the club. And the place, the club is actually very big. But what we do is that because of the small, small events we used to do in the past, so they partitioned it, if you guys know. Okay. So we are creating more space, and that's what we are doing. Even the man just called me why we are in this meeting. I wouldn't think. Because the capitals and everybody, they are working there, they are recreating. So we want to create more space. And by the grace of God, we will be able to accommodate everybody. Starting there. And we will try to make it more organized, like I said. You know, all artists will not be, except if you want to be with your friends, all artists. We have a pass, and they will not be sitting in crowd. We want them to sit at the backstage. We want to take care of the artists. Let's well. at least make the artists. Welcome back. That was Jibril, and I'm sure he's been able to clear every of your curiosities and questions. And also, good luck to those who are nominated for each category. We're going to see you at that day because it's going to be really massive. Save the date, please. CEO Expo Entertainment, Olumde Kishola, aka Blanky gives an orientation and detailed information about the costs of board. Here's what he had to say. We'll be right back. Here with me, I have the CEO of Xbox Entertainment in the name of Olubi Deishola, a.k.a. Blanky. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, we want to um, talk to you about the award you're bringing up, the Corsons Award, if I got that wow. right. It's one of the bars. On the 16th of January, yes. 2015. Yeah. We have been side plots, we are about to witness it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, um, we want to know... <laughs> if I tell you the story, you don't want to know the story now. <laughs> but this award is not an independent award. Okay. It's a general award okay. for people, for students. Mm. Not only students, because as you can see from the nominees, there are people that are, are, people that are working as well. Okay. That down in school, so it's a general award for people who are disciples from okay. mostly Africans. Like, um, for the upcoming um, artists, people uh -huh. were deliberating if why didn't you put um, artists like the artists. other awards? Ooh, ooh, like, two dollar artists. <laughs> everybody, as far as I'm concerned, yes. all the artists on this island, all of them, everybody, they are more coming as well. How come people want that? The people want that. They are in London now. Top of my guy. Love it. Larry. Everybody. So, all the, all, everybody on this list that are upcoming, as far as I'm concerned. But let me. let me. So, you want that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> VI, upcoming. LB, upcoming. Sugar, upcoming. T1, upcoming. Versace Boys, upcoming. Elino, upcoming. Young Body, upcoming. Kevin Tita, upcoming. He's a, there's something like that, mm. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So, um, the awards, how are the votings going to be like? Like, for the nominations? How is it going to be? Is it going to be different from. Definitely, it's going to be different, man. As in, like, this is what Cyprus will be willing to go. Mm. That's why, as you can see, this award is for. We need to step up our okay, game, man. We're going. It's next month. Over okay. two years. In July. We are going. 
I was going to be by a cat. And then by took self. That's for me first. Let me surprise you. See, took self. It's I have been shocked with that for all the time. It's so coming out soon. I'm on my Instagram page and Facebook, Twitter. So, something different from what we are used to. But definitely, there's going to be uh, uh, my website, www.exportvnt.com. There'll be, there'll be all the nominees will be on the website with their pictures. So, if you can, uh, let me go online and see who this person is. Five votes. So, you can as well check online and see their stuff going online. You can send your text. You can vote online, it's a computer. Mm -hmm. So you can vote live, three times I want to vote on the on you if I mean, like, calm down. <laughs> now good is saying I won't vote like two million votes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. And that was that about the Carson's Award. And I'm so excited. Now to our gossip speak again. Alright, this is serious stuff. Now, there's been a lot of drama on the social network, a lot of things, a lot of Instagram pages that have been open to this, to celebs, that have been nominated for the Allen Awards, for the Cousins Award. You know, people saying people don't deserve the category, people say people don't have to sing well, people say people are not upcoming, people say everybody's upcoming, everybody's not upcoming. <laughs> we are able to spot some comments on some celebrity pages about the Annan and everything that has to do with the drama. And we're able to reach out to some of these celebrities and here's what they had to say. We'll be right back. Yeah, good afternoon. Pistachio Boys. You are your manager. Yeah, I'm good. I uh, would just like to know your impressions and what you guys feel about the awards, both the Annan Award and the Cosens Award that's out now in Cyprus. It's okay. It's a good development. I mean, it's good for the people. At least people get appreciated for the things they're known for the best. So I, I really have nothing against them. It's, they're doing their thing. It's good. Okay, according to the nominations where you were nominated, what do you have to say as regards that? And also, the, you posted a video as regards your nominations. What are what are things you feel you have to say about the nominations? Are you like are you com are you okay with the nominations? Well, or? I mean, for the people who nominated me, I mean, I kind of appreciate it. For I appreciate being noticed. You know, even it doesn't matter if I feel it's right or not. I just appreciate it and I thank God for letting the people see what I do and you know just even notice me as an artist you could call me promising artist I mean it, it's okay it's not a problem it doesn't really change what it really is but I kind of have a feeling about it because last year we were nominated for um, our songs and artist of the year so it's kind of funny to come back the next year and get nominated for a lower category I mean that's like somebody winning a uh, uh, win an award for or get nominated this year for best album and then you come next year and put him as best new act it's it, it one comes before the other and if you have certain categories first you can go to the other ones the next year because you go further you don't go backward exactly. but I mean I thank God for being noticed okay so how about you your promoter your manager what what do you have to say about uh, basically uh, I just think you know they're doing a really good job but sometimes, you know, some some of the people who've been really doing a good job are not being noticed, and which is really wrong. Yeah, you know, for example, so. like when you're talking about the video that I posted, a lot of people got it wrong. That video was not about my nomination. I was just speaking for the people. I mean, for like the Cross Science Award, I didn't see DJ Simon. DJ Simon was supposed to be there as the best DJ. He's supposed to encourage that boy. He's been putting in a lot of work, hosting shows, performed in most of the best, most of the shows that we ever organized you know and um, I see most popular I mean I've been here for like five years so just looking at the, the list for most popular I should know everybody there just because I've been here long enough and I mean even people if you're popular you shouldn't you should be known by even people that are not social people that are not into this social media and all that stuff should know you if you get nominated for most popular but I mean like I said, I'm not here to complain about my categories or if you say you, I don't deserve to be in, the Versace boys don't deserve to be in the most popular, even if we're known by everybody, which I don't know. I mean, at the same time, there's another category for um, ladies' men. I know TK Dior for being the ladies' man. I know Kotunyue for being the ladies' man. The other people on that list, I don't know anything about them, and I think you can say that too. And I think the people who who um, 
are hosting these events know what I'm talking about because if you're popular, for example, you shouldn't be popular just in Magusa. Not just because they know you in Magusa, you're popular. No. You should be known in Magusa, Lefkosia, Guinea, Lefke. All these universities should know you. So, I mean, it's no big deal. Okay, thank you very much for saying that. You're welcome, man. Welcome back. Well, that was Dan about that. I'm even surprised because I saw some accounts on Instagram. I don't know if you're a newly created or not, but they were tagging me and it was really, really deep. I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, if you have anything you'd like to talk about, anything you'd like to share on the show, our studio is always open, please contact the info on your screen and we'll get back to you. And now for our event lineups. Ankara Swagger Swag is going to be holding in Lions Garden on the 9th of this month, so take it a day. Also, Creole Talent Hunt Show is going to be holding on the 12th of this month in Cultural Center. So if you have any special talents you'd like to showcase, please don't hesitate to pick up the registration forms via the information on the screen. And now to the big one, the Anan Award Night, which is going to be holding on the 19th of this month. And I'm going to be live on the red carpet, so make it a date so you can chat with me. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really awesome. Following up that same night is going to be the Anan Concert, Cypress Shutdown Season 2. And it's going to be featuring Inya. 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 Yeah. All right, on the 19th of December, it's going to be in Yaya's concert, Cyprus Shutdown, after the Anan Awards. Oracle Moments is going to be there. I Like TV is going to be there. You don't want to miss out. Is Yanya taking off his shirt on the 19th of December? That's the biggest question in Cyprus right now. I'm calling upon all my ladies to come through Lions Garden. Be there, be square. As you can see, the show is well anticipated and Offhand Entertainment has really worked hard to make the show bigger than the previous season. For more updates about this event and other events, please stay connected to our social media pages. Well, that's that for this week's edition of Twist. I'm Sarah Girl Diamond Ajali. Have a fabulous weekend.